market update from Nirmal Banga and Neural Dadi, an absolutely uh, terrific day of trade that we've witnessed in today's session. Uh, clearly, from the day's lowest levels, if you go to see, you've seen a sharp recovery that did come in in terms of Indian markets. We were trade tracking. Uh, global queues when we opened up for trade, we did see a gap down opening, but the kind of recovery and the kind of pickup that we saw was fabulous. In fact, we ended at the day's highest level, so that was an interesting point that we watched out for. Uh, clearly, if you go to see, Sensex ended with gains of almost around 7 tenths of a percent, and we did see a recovery of a little over 1400 points from the day's lowest levels on the Sensex. Uh, in, in terms of the Nifty as well, similar gains that did come in. However, an interesting bit is that we failed to cross that 10,000 mark again on Nifty 50. In fact, we ended at levels of almost around 9,972. And there was a recovery of a little over 400 points that did come in from the day's lowest levels on Nifty 50. So in overall, if you go to see a good deal of trade that did come in in terms of where benchmark indices were concerned. In fact, let's see what the bank Nifty did as well because financials uh, did have to play a huge role in this kind of a recovery. Bank Nifty also did see a recovery. Overall, if you go to see, we, we ended with gates of almost 130 points that did come in on Bank Nifty. We hit a low of 19,526 on Bank Nifty. Uh, and for majority of the day, we were trading in the red, but it was the last hour of uh, recovery that actually helped us end in the positive six tenths of a percentile is uh, where we ended with regards to where bank nifty's, uh, nifty was concerned. In terms of where broader markets go as well, an interesting factor uh, you know, on that front as well, you have the mid cap and the small cap index, uh, whereas you have the mid cap index, which outperformed the uh, small cap index, marginal gains on the small cap index, but the mid cap index was up almost around 1% in trade. And if you see in, the, in terms of individual sectors as well. You had majority of the sectors except FMCG, which ended on the borderline. IT was under pressure, ended with cuts of almost a percent and a half. Cap goods ended with cuts and you had power, which ended with cuts. But you had realty, which saw gains of almost around 1.3 percent. Oil and gas ended in the positive. Auto did see a spectacular move in today's day of trade, almost 3 percent with the kind of gains. Telecom was up almost to 2.5 percent. And you had energy, which was up almost around 2.5 percent in trade. So this was the sectoral movement uh, that we actually saw. But most of the sectors, if you go to see, managed to recover from the day's lowest levels, except IT as well as uh, media as well as we mentioned. In fact, the Wix as well ended above the 30, uh, 30 market gained almost around 3.9%. The market breadth was in favor of the advances by the close of the session. So that was something uh, which is positive. But for the week, if you go to see, we have ended with losses on the Sensex as well as uh, the Nifty. So we've actually snapped the two-day gaining streak on both the indices. Uh, so clearly, we witnessed a huge gap down opening, and this was mainly on account of the global queues. And we actually opened on near the crucial short-term moving averages, which actually attracted a lot of buying interest in the market, which actually took us higher. So clearly the index saw steady recovery as the day progressed. In fact, overall, if you go to see uh, the weekly chart is actually still showing signs of some bit of weakness as there is a bearish you know pattern that is indicated on the charts as well so let's see where we move from here on after this week how monday also looks like uh, but clearly if you go to see in terms of individual stocks as well m, &M on the back of earnings uh, bharti infratel shri cement bajaj finance hero moto and rl these were the top gators Whereas Z Entertainment, ONGC, Tech Mahindra, Power Grip, and Wipro, these were the top losers in terms of Nifty 50. In terms of broader markets, Himat Singh Kasi, Vodafone Idea, Granules India, Sriram Transport Finance, Aditya Birla Finance were the top gainers. Whereas KSB, Shankara Building Products, Tech Solutions, PC Jewelers, interesting name there, they just networks as well as the Centrum Capital were. Uh, the top losers. Uh, let's see if there were any stocks that actually hit a 52-week high or a 52-week low uh, in today's session. Nothing on the Nifty, on Nifty 50, but from the broader markets, your Dhanika, Agri, Granules, India, Network 18, Web of Global. These were few stocks that actually hit a 52-week high, whereas Rajesh Exports hit a 52-week low in today's day of trade. Maruti Suzuki rolled out BS6 compliant SCNG variant of Celerio, and that's what gave it the gains. Uh, Karta Construction signed an MOU with DSP Realtors. So on that note, you had some bit of moves coming in on that one. Uh, Tata Power, the arm has signed a definitive agreement with Olden Ford, uh, 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 Oldendorf uh, carrier. So that was one of the reasons. BHEL was up with trade. Uh, you had Celebra Integrated Technologies was trading in the positive. Capital Point uh, got to US FDA uh, approval. So that counter was up with trade as well. 
Apart from that, Sundaram fasteners with another one. It was the top gainer on Nifty 500 as well at one point in time. So smart moves uh, did come in on this counter. Apart from this name, let's see if there were other movers and shakers as well. So you had an MRF, uh, which did see some smart moves in today's session of trade. Uh, let's if you, uh, then you had Prestige Estates as well. That was a another one which actually gained in today's session. HDFC Bank. Uh, you know, that was one of the counters which actually led to today's recovery. Uh, in fact, overall, if you see the contribution of HDFC Bank was also immense to get, uh, you know, this kind of an up move. So overall, a lot of stock specific action, the financials did contribute a lot in today's session. The auto names did contribute a lot to today's session uh, in the kind of recovery that we saw. But again, a stock specific, uh, you know, market is what we've been witnessing. There is high amount of volatility. There is high amount of uncertainty. What we witnessed, we have ended below that 10,000 mark on Nifty 50. So let's see how the next week looks like as well, because there is a lot of uncertainty with regards to what's happening with the spread uh, with COVID, with the kind of lockdowns we've seen, uh, you know, countries have started to open up, but on the back of uh, the second wave, you know, a lot of countries are looking at, again, looking at another lockdown. So I think that's something which is causing some bit of uncertainty as well. But that's all that we have in the post-market update from Nirmal Bang. Thank you for watching and we wish all of you a happy weekend.